does Israel hope to achieve with the routine violent escalations on the Gaza border? It seems as though there's no real answer. Following another violent weekend, a top diplomatic official said this week that Israel is refraining from a military campaign that might lead to reoccupying the Gaza Strip and toppling Hamas, adding that if that should happen, no one knows who could step in as a replacement. His comments attributed to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. This dilemma is very familiar to Reserve Colonel Grisha Yakubovich, former head of the civilian department at Kogat, the coordinator of government activities in the territories, who also knows that it is not only up to those in Jerusalem to try and solve this. The best thing for all sides, all parties, is that uh, the PA, Mahmoud Abbas, the president, will get back to Gaza. Now we need to ask ourselves a question. He, is he able to do that? Will Hamas agree to that? So we are stuck in this reality of two entities, two different Palestinian entities. While the Israeli cabinet continues to debate the issue with blame handed back and forth, it seems as if none of them is willing to commit to another option, one that is already taking place one way or another, negotiating with Hamas. Those sitting in the cabinet know all too well that backing such an option may have serious political implications. This is a terror organization and you cannot negotiate officially with the terror organization. Uh, then what will be the message? Where are your principles? With this being the case, is there any solution Israel can try and push? If we will give Hamas or provide Hamas their demands and get this calm for 25 years, is there any guarantee that Hamas will respect that? Or what will be the message to the entire Arab world? As long as there is no trust, there is clearly no peace, but also no real war. Israel, it seems, is still trying to find some kind of formula to bring quiet to the region without heading into a full-on military operation. So far, this formula has not been found. Jonathan Regev, I-24 News.